Hi friends. I did it. I think if you're here, I did it. Let me know. I'm over at my desk today trying to get all my ish in order. I have I've been neglecting some things over here and I'm going to try to get some listings done in my light box. I'm going to turn on this light. There we go. Okay. Oh my, I love it. Jazz from Australia. That's amazing. Good morning. I was just dead asleep on this, on the couch. I mean, dead asleep. Like I almost missed it. I almost missed my own life. It's fine. Mojo crawled up on top of me and I was just out. He's a good napping partner. Try to get these belts done today. I know, right? That's so cool. Wish I was in Australia right now. I love Australia. Love it. Hello, hello, everyone. All right. As I was saying, I was just dead asleep on the couch. So I made it just in time. Hey, Elena. I'm glad you guys can see me. I'm glad it worked because you just never know. Oh, hi, Adelaide. You guys are sweet. Hi, Brent. Hey, Matt. Hey, Cynthia's husband. Oh, hey, Bobby. Bobby Dawson. Is that who I'm talking to? <laughs> I will call you out. Hello. Oh, Tracy, thank you. Glad to see Jazz here. Hopefully we can all get a little bit of work done tonight. Uh, you know, we're going to get it done. I'm going to plug in my receipt printer so I can print my tickets. And then I'm going to list these belts and some plush. I have my champagne Yeti. Don't worry, everybody. We're in this together. We're going to get going. Dan's in Atlanta, hot Atlanta, he's doing business things. I don't know anything about business, but that's what he's doing. So I got this, this film, I don't know, there's like paint on it, but I got this at the bins and it was on sale at Target for $2.36, but this four pack just sold for $50 on eBay because I guess you can't get film anymore. I don't know. I'm probably wrong about that, but for some reason it sold for $50. I always pick up things with barcodes at the bins. I'm like, yes, ma'am, if you have a barcode. All right, hold on. I had to do a little bit of weird. Do you see my Dymo over here? I had to hook it up a little strange to print earlier. So I did all the labels, printed and sent all the packages. I even had to do one for UPS. Been on top of it today. Getting everything done. No matter what. Okay, Renee, you're cut off tonight. You are cut off. <laughs> oh, no. Adelaide falls asleep. Maybe that's what it was. Actually, I think, you know, when when Dan is here, I can't fall asleep because I'm always worried and I have to do something. Not not that he makes me do anything, but I'm always like, oh, I should stay awake. Not today. I was like, boom, out. Looking for some baby wipes. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I have a case of baby wipes under my desk. Do not be alarmed. Get them off of Amazon. But I used to get them at the Dollar Tree, but the packs are too small. I was going through like a pack a day. Baby wipes. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I got a pack a day habit in the baby wipes department. Dan is in Atlanta in a business meeting for his other business that he does with his dad. So he's only there for one night. He'll be back tomorrow evening, hopefully in time for the live. He'll get off the plane and then we'll be like, we gotta go list. Let's go. I think his plane gets in at like six or something. It might be a close call. We'll see. Oh, baby wipes from Costco. That's a good plan. I might have to get baby wipes. 
We do go to Costco now, so maybe I could get them at Costco. Costco brand. It's probably Huggies, isn't it? Or one of those. I love trying to decipher which main brand the Costco brand is. We have a debate about toilet paper in my house. And trying to figure out which Costco toilet paper is the blue Charmin toilet paper, not the red. Dan does not like the red. He is only about the blue. And so I figured it was the one with the blue label, but I may have been wrong. I don't know. Isn't that weird? But those stores, for the most part, don't have their own brands. They're all just repackaged. Of main, you know, name brands. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get, there's like paint all over this. I don't know why. So I'm trying to get it off here. Kirkland Signature. Yeah, but I wonder which, uh, you know. So basically, like, the factories will make these Huggies or whatever. I'm just using it as an example. And then they'll put Kirkland on it instead of Huggies. It'll be the same thing. Costco doesn't have money to have, like, their own. They have enough money to have their own off-brand, but not their own brand brand. Which I love. I love trying to decipher. Because why would you pay more for a label? I don't care. Walmart wipes. Okay, okay. I've been getting the Walmart uh, rollers, lint rollers. They're pretty great. Somebody on YouTube told me about that. I can't remember who. Maybe it was Rebel. I think it was Rebel. Rebel. She was like, these extra stickies. I love an extra sticky lint roller. So I was on top of that. And they've been working really well. Try not to get as much off Amazon anymore because... I mean, yeah, carbon footprint and everything, but I just don't want to give my money to that guy. <laughs> I know, that's terrible. But, like, he has so much money, and that Amazon has so much money. I want to give it to the smaller businesses if I can, even though Costco is not a small business. Um, I'm trying to keep my... We have a Sam's Club near us. I'm trying to keep it in business. We go there for... Our, instead of ordering like, big paper towels off Amazon and having the UPS guy deliver it, I'm trying to get that stuff there. It's right down the street. And then we do go to Costco for a keto food once every two weeks because our little Sam's Club doesn't have as much as Costco does. So I'm trying to, you know, limit the old carbon footprint to keep our Sam's Club in business because we don't have to use a lot of gas to get there and walk there, basically. Oh, you worked at Amazon. Tell us all the horror stories. I'm so interested. There's so many Amazon plants in Dallas. Plants? Is that what you call it? Fact That's not a fact. I guess. Warehouse. That's what it's called. There are warehouses here. So the good thing is we can get our, our shipments very quickly. But the bad thing is a lot of people work for Amazon. And I've heard, heard not good things. I ordered my lint roller refills from Ikea. All right. I love Ikea. I have a delivery coming on Thursday, the rest of my kitchen. So it's been over a year since we put in our kitchen and I've been waiting for this one cabinet combination on one of the walls. It's not a main part of our kitchen, but it's been back ordered for a year. And it fi I check every single Saturday and it's finally in stock. So I ordered it and it's coming on Thursday and they won't let you go pick it up. Isn't that weird? What's going on here? They won't let you go pick it up. They're like, no, ma'am. We have to deliver it too for $50. I'm like, okay, well, we could pick it up. Oh, no, trauma. No, no, don't go into trauma. I'm drinking for you, ladybug. For those of you that wonder, this is the Prosecco my mom got me for my birthday. I just have one Prosecco in the evening. You know. It's fine. I'm not really a drinker, but I do enjoy Prosecco. It's very refreshing to me. All right, I'm going to get listing. I think I have drafts for this stuff. We're about to find out, aren't we? We're going to see. Janice! How you doing? If you don't know, One Joyful Closet is Janice. She's an OG member here. And she lives in Waxahachie. Am I right, Janice? You live in Waxahachie, right? In Texas. And she is a moderator in our group. Lovely, lovely. Oh, she goes live in her group, too, so you can watch her hauls. All right. Look at this guy. Dan got this guy. He's not that good. 
All right, whatever. I'm going to list him. He's more than $10, so I'm going to list him. If this stuff ends up in my house and it's more than $10, I'm like, well, I guess we're listing it. So you're going to see how I list on my own, which is slow and steady wins the race. Look at this Webkins. I think these do okay if they have the tag still. They were having a moment for a while where they were doing really, really well. So I'm going to start with that, and then I'm going to get to all these belts tonight. My eBay store is very slow right now. It's unbelievably slow. So I want to list these belts in hopes that they're a need, not a want, you know, and somebody needs them. Waxahachie. Just put it this way. It was just very obvious that you were replaceable and you were just a robot. That's it. Oh, no. See, I'm glad you're a reseller now. Nobody needs that in their life. Nobody. All right. Let's open up a window here so you can see what I'm doing. ebay.com Me either, Jazz. Never want to... That's... I never want to work for someone else's dream. It's so horrible. I don't. I have no desire. Dan is in Atlanta tonight. And, um, oh, I don't want to do that one. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, it won't let me do it. Why? No. Hmm. Okay, you guys don't need to see me list this stuff. It won't let me do it. You're going to get an infinite screen. You don't need to see eBay. I'll tell you what I'm doing. It'll be fine, because then I can't see your comments. I just want to see your comments. We're going to be great. And everybody watching this tomorrow is going to be great. Okay, so I'm going to go through and look at these drafts, because I think I already did drafts for them, but I didn't put pictures in. Hey, Etta. Mojo's doing okay. He is sick. Everybody, I think, knows that he's pretty sick. But each day is a good day that he's still here. And that's how we feel. He is 21 years old and he has kidney failure, which is not abnormal for a 21-year-old cat. And some days are better than others. He's been sleeping a lot today. Hey, Ciro. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to my drafts. I know you can't see my screen. It's going to be crazy if I do. won't be able to see you guys. Well, I could. It's just going to be uncomfortable for a moment. Do you guys want to do that for a moment? Let's see if it'll let me. No, it won't let me. Sorry. I tried. I did try. Alright, so I'm going to go down here to this Cocker Spaniel. Hey, Megan. Aw, thank you. He's a sweet boy. Um, he's just He's just old, you know, so we're not expecting the world from him. Just having good days. Just try to keep him. We give him antibiotics every day, and sometimes we give him fluids through an IV. It's all these things you have to do when you have an old cat. All right, I'm taking pictures of this Webkins. First things first. What are you guys listing? Anything selling for you guys? Because dang, it is slow going. 
And when I am getting offers, they're like super low ball. Also, I would like you to know that I refuse to pay for the photo room. What do you call it? Advanced pro. I refuse. So some of mine might have photo room branding. I don't care. I'm so stubborn. It's because Dan already paid for it. And they won't let us share. And it's, it makes me like irrational, irrationally angry. But hopefully I don't need a photo room in this. Look at his little face. I try to take like 12 photos if I'm doing it by myself. I think the algorithm seems to like that. So I'm just going to airdrop the photos to myself. What's up, Tommy? And Jazz is here in the morning in Australia. I have no idea what a folio society book is. Can you translate into American? Oh, that's good that you sold two purses, Lindsay. That's good. Uh, Elena, I don't think it's built in yet. I have heard... Uh, can't you log into his account on your PC and drag and drop two listings? Um, hit on my on his PC? No. Yes, I could, but his computer is broken. We only have one computer in our house right now that works. It's mine. Knock on wood. So it's fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be just fine. I just won't be able to see your comments if you want to see my screen. I'm telling you, I'm not listing the greatest things. I don't know that it would be that valuable in order for me to not see comments. We have a one computer house right now. He has to replace the fan or something. We tried all the tricks. We tried the codes and we tried the updates. Must be the fan. This is not a seal. One day sale today. Okay, okay. Taki's AirPod case. I love it. Elena's listing sweaters and jackets. Vintage nylon plush day for 39. That's great. Beautiful collectible classics from London. Like porcelain, like figurines or something? I've never heard of this. I know a lot about English China. I've never heard of it, so I'm happy to be learning something. Shoes, jewelry, HBA, plus ridiculous offer for a pair of Ray-Bans. I countered, so we'll see about that. I have gotten so many lowball offers today. I can't. I'm just like, I understand that it's rough out there, but at some point, you don't feel bad. I got a $3 offer today on eBay. A $3 offer. Oh, books. Okay, great. Folio. I get it. I got it. It took me a second. Y'all, I fell asleep right before this. You need to give me a second to wake up. I was asleep fine. I made it. Okay, so now I'm going to airdrop all of these photos to myself. That's how we do it. It's slower, but it works. I know you guys are going to be like, use the listing tool. I won't do it yet. I'm not going to make me Oh, you know what I might be able to do? But you'd have to hang on for some techni technicals. I could bring the iPad over here. We have an iPad. That might solve our issue. Then you could actually see in the photo cave. And see what my photos look like over here. They're not great. This thing is bright, but it's still kind of gray tone. Do you guys have that issue with light boxes in general? Probably. 
ankle boots all day. Okay, all right. One step closer. I got four ring lights for 20 bucks. Nice. I love that. All right, I'm going to grab the iPad and try to make a magical thing happen. Except that I have to clear off my desk. It's very full right now, if you can't tell. Very full. All right, hold on. Hold on. Y'all hold tight. Entertain yourselves. Somebody say something funny. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Okay. We're doing this. Of a stream I'm joining. No, I don't want to do that. Nope. Okay. I gotta text myself a link. I'm all over this, you guys. All over it. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Perfect. Double time. Dan is um, in Atlanta. He is there for one night for a business trip. Y'all, I'm trying my best. Look at this. Got two screens up. I think I figured it out. All right, you're gonna have to deal with this for just a second. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, it's better. You get two of me. I don't know why I can't take one of them off because it has my microphone. Wait, maybe I can try now. Unmute. I think I did it. Unmute. Yes. I was working on it. I think I got it now. Look, we got a screen. I got comments. And you got my face. 
just took a second. We all here now. All right, I'm listening to Webkins. I don't know that I'm going to put the code that Webkins Cocker Spaniel. Y'all do not get these things if they don't have the code. They do not sell, in my opinion. Unless it's like a super rare one. I'm sure there's exceptions. Oh, I got it, girls. I got it. You had three Amy's. You had 14 screens. You had the infinite. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. I know. But now I think we're good. And I don't have an echo, which is great. Okay, these are how my pictures come through. Even though, look at this sad little dog. So just brighten him up a little bit in eBay. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It'll be fine. Once they get past the cover, you know, if they want this dog, they're gonna buy the dog. I just I edit the cover photo. Brand new with tags condition. Try to ruin someone's Christmas. Uh-oh, best offer wasn't on. That was about to be scary. All right. One thing done. Boom. I already had the draft done, so it kind of doesn't count, but it kind of does. Oh, I need to print a ticket. Webkins Cocker Spaniel. This is all this junk that's just been on my desk. I'm so happy to get it out of here, to be honest. Oh, you guys can see everything. I just see my whole desktop. Awkward. Hopefully no one texts me. Goodness. All right. I don't want to show your own comments or do you want to see your own comments? What about the people in the after stream? All right, one down. We have one thing listed. Success. I'm doing one more plush. I'm going to do this $50 film because I need to make some money. And maybe people are buying film because they're going on vacation. I'm looking for an eraser in case you're wondering what I'm doing. No, he's not going to send me a naughty picture. He's with his dad. That would be really awkward. That would be like another level of awkward. All right. They're probably out at a nice dinner. I'm pretty, pretty uh, jealous of that. I love going to dinner in Atlanta. I love Atlanta. That's where I would move if I could move somewhere that wasn't DC. But he's there now. He's coming back tomorrow at six. So we're just gonna like screech into the driveway to start the live because you know I'm not listing anything tomorrow. Like we gotta get stuff listed. Let's go. Get in the car. If we we're late tomorrow, you'll know why. Those of you from Dallas, you'll think this is so weird, like I do. He flew Delta out of Love Field. Isn't that weird? It's like, oh my gosh. Forever, Love Field has only been Southwest, and I guess they opened up a few gates for other airlines. This is a vintage gunned penguin. Don't ask. I gotta get this plush off my desk. Ooh. 
This thing we've already, I need to clean up these giraffes. Yeah, here's this film, $49. Isn't that crazy? Here's the penguin. Here we go. Question. Would it be better to focus on lowering my cost of goods, $5, or sourcing higher dollar items? Ooh, this would be a good debate in the chat. Because I know that different people feel all kinds of ways about this. I know it is very weird. I love feeling right now. know about the right amendment but i do know that we normally fly southwest to go see my parents and it's always at a love field and it's close to our house so that's been good um but now i guess other airlines are there it's interesting so let's answer megan's question she's saying should she try to lower her cost of goods or source more high dollar items so you're gonna have to pay more to get more high dollar items i think that's her question so what would you guys recommend if she's trying to increase sales focusing on? I know there are people that only shop at like buy, sell trades or whatever and get really high end things and flip them for high end money. Uh, in my opinion, that hasn't worked for us because those items are more long tail and they take longer to sell. And so then there's a lull. So you need a lot of them to sell like every day in order to sell something. This is, I'm making a guess though. We we sprinkle in both. We do about 50-50 high-end stuff and then pure junk just to have sales and convert. Not pure junk. Gosh, Amy, don't say that. Um, smaller things that many people will want. Does that make sense? Oh, that's true, Janice. I mean, both of you can. Exactly. That's what we do. We do both. Okay. See the two right here with jazz and basic earth. We have the two competing opinions in the reselling world. I don't think either one is right or wrong. They both work. So basic earth saying goodwill dollar days. And then Tommy going to come through with the sell through rate, which is the bottom line. I think that's a really good way to look at it. It's the only way to look at reselling. You have to look at sell-through rate. Look at this guy. Yeah, I think we talked about that in our haul video today, that buying cheap doesn't matter if it doesn't sell. We used to do that like four years ago. We would go buy everything at Dollar Day. We still do take part in Dollar Day, but we only buy things that other people have missed at Dollar Day. Things with secret, like good sell-through rates. And you're like, wow, how did someone leave that here? And so normally we walk out of a Dollar Day with like maybe five or six things. We used to walk out with like 60 
So Lindsay says, it's all about up to the seller. High end is usually long tail. Lower cost of goods will most likely move faster depending on comps. Source what's in your area and look at sell through. I agree with that. I find some good stuff on dollar at my Phoenix Goodwill because they price stuff too high. Amen. Do you get there like really early or something? Because I can see that working too. Hey, Christina, how are you? It's just me tonight. I'm listening at my desk. I guess I should put the light here. Larry. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Hey, Jennifer. I haven't seen you in a long time. Hi. Yeah, I agree with all of that, too. We're having a discussion right now with our lower cost of goods and selling more volume or the getting a higher cost, you know, a higher ASP, higher average sales price is that which way is better. And I think there are merits to both of them. But as Tommy has well put it here, sell through is the most important. And looking at sell through, I think... Also using Terapeak, if you have an eBay store, can be very helpful, especially if it's a seasonal item. You just know you're going to have to wait a little bit. I see a lot of people underprice seasonal items when they're off season because the comps are lower. But if you look at something like Christmas during December or November, the comps will be a lot higher. So if you can afford to wait, then that's another strategy to get more money. Because remember that eBay comps, the solds are only showing you 90 days. Which is important in sell through is that you're comparing 90 days to 90 days. That's important. But if you're selling something seasonal, like sparkle gowns or something, or prom dresses, I don't know. So make sure to look for the comps in the time frame that is the ideal selling point, I would say. Had a good thrift day for XL Robert Graham. I've only found once in my life and it sold in 10 minutes. So get that thing listed. Last four weeks of school. You're so close. Oh, your thrifts don't do dollar day. Our Goodwills don't, but we have a thrift chain called Thrift Giant that does 99 cent days on certain colors. You know, that have been there for a while. Oh, Jennifer just got a store. Excellent. Is there a place to put a SKU number? Yes. Are you in the new listing tool? Can you guys tell her where it is, the SKU? I remember I couldn't find it either. Here, try the new listing tool. Y'all, I'm going to have a meltdown. Here we go. If it doesn't let me switch back, I'm quitting. Oh, I have the three dots. Okay. Custom label is right here for me. It's right under the title. Custom label skew. But I know other people it wasn't right there. Right, 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 right. Yeah, under title. That's where mine is too. But some people on, on the thrifters group are saying it wasn't there. So let's check and see if it's here, Jennifer. If it's right under the title, custom label SKU. So Tommy, I think yours is a is a little bit of a different thing. Like I'm selling $1,500 Eskandar pants. Not everybody's going to be, you know, throwing down for those. So I'm waiting. But if I was selling shoes like you are, especially running shoes in this nice weather coming up, I might be doing it might be a quicker flip i think it depends on what you're selling i do agree though if you are selling things that people need at this in this season right now it's going to be fast no matter what the price if they want it people act like they don't have money until there's something they want and then they have money that's for sure they used to have 50 percent off every other saturday and they stopped that already wow I don't think we do at our Goodwill. We have the color of the week. Oh, Christina, where do you live again? Edit options to the right. Oh, edit all options. So I guess if you click this, you could also get to the SKU field. Maybe see how this has a little toggle, Jennifer. Maybe your SKU is turned off. And you just have to toggle it to the on position. Yeah, see how it, subtitle is here and the toggle is off. I don't use subtitles, but my SKU toggle is on. So click on this button that says edit all options and see if that helps. Oh, 
All right, y'all, I'm trying this. I'm feeling bold. I'm trying it. Why do I have to click into this, though? Why can't I just click new? Do you guys want to hear me bitch about this for the whole time, or should I switch back? Because I will. Yeah, same for me, Lindsay. Things like Burberry, Gucci, Tiffany take longer for me to move. I think it sounds like Lindsay and I have a similar uh, similar business model. Hey, Kristen. Tracy says, "What do you consider a fast flip?" Out of curiosity, if someone sells within a, if something sells within a month, I consider that pretty quick personally. A week, of course, is better. Um, a month for me, I. I think honestly, I wouldn't consider, I would be like, that was okay. If something flips overnight, that's extraordinary. And I love that when that happens, but normally a week, if something flips within the week, I know it was a really in demand item. And not all of our stuff does. Maybe if we list 15 things a day or 20 things a day, maybe two to five will sell within the week. Oh, I see. <laughs> true. $80 is expensive. That's true. Okay, so we just need to clarify what we mean by expensive. That's that's a totally fair point. I'm impressed with 14. I usually shoot for 12 to 15 a day. 14 day sales or 14... Yeah, they, they are slower, but dang, is it worth it when you get that kaching? You're just like, yes, it's so good when stuff does sell. Yeah, I need a list. What am I doing? Oh, my hand was in that one. Awkward. I'm really not the best at this. But you know what? It'll be done. And that'll be great. And my light box is too small, so you can see the edges. I just don't care. Not for this kind of stuff. If I was listing $1,500 pants, I would make sure that it was super primo. The ASPN, yeah, I saw that the other day. 23 shipped or something. It's crazy low. This is why we get these lowball offers. 12 to 15 listings a day. Yeah, that's great. Oh, let's try the remove background tool. Let's see what happens. Y'all, this is not good. Remove background. Okay. Let's see if it works. I mean, I'm kind of cropping out the background on my own right here. Continue. Okay. It's not horrible. We'll go ahead and save that. I haven't used this before. Those of you that have been on here for like year, a year, you're like, Amy, why haven't you used this? I have not. You're seeing it here first. All right, buddy. Why aren't you updated? What is this photo? Main photo. See, it's still kind of glitchy. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling it. Acting glitchy. Frame your item. Okay. Y'all, this is sucky. Refine. Oh, no, I'm not going in with a brush and a pen. That's not happening. Not even one little bit. So you can't just click to see your main photo. I, I can't. 
What is going on here? Where did your main photo go? It's not this first one? I don't even see this photo. What is this photo? Where is this photo? Oh, y'all, I am really special. So I have to drag it over here. And now it's nothing. Okay, all right. So this is an actual, so on the other one, this is like a little screen of what you get. This is the actual photo. Okay, all right, fair enough. Figuring it out. I feel very vulnerable right now. I listed something. It's not perfect, but I did it. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. I just saw your comment. Drawing it to the large spot. At least you understood what my problem was. This is the first time I've ever used this to make a listing. So I feel like other people had the same issues probably at first, right? I'm trying to get used to it because I'm fearing that day when it comes down and I have to use it. Oh no. Oh no. Dan is calling during a live. Like what would that be about? Hello? I don't see you. Oh, hold on. Oh geez, oh geez. Now everyone sees all my backstage. This guy. Hey. Now I gotta get AirPods. Hold on. Wait, is it echoey? Can you guys hear? Um, Doesn't sound like it to me. But then you can't hear me, can you? No, I can hear you. I just wonder if they oh. can hear an echo. Stop using the what, what are you I just use the new yeah, listing tool. On? Very excited. I saw Everyone that. was like, that all about? you know, trying to help me. So it was good. So you're all dressed up. Yeah, I just up. got back from a, just got back from a dinner, business dinner. Wait, can they hear you? Can you guys hear Dan? Oh my God, Thank look at that. You. Woo! Oh no, don't do that. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to keep it all together. Look, I'm trying to keep this thing covered. Because this restream is weird. It won't me. let you like... If you're the only one streaming, I had to set up the iPad, you see. Uh, I was getting very, very technical. Strange. And I'm using the new listening tool, so I'm, like, super tech today. <laughs> you are. You are being super tech. Super. So you think Everyone says you look like a magician. I'll and take they can it. hear us both. Fantastic. Fancy Dan. I love it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Cheers. You're drinking water, but that's fine. Yep. All right. I listed two right. things so far. And now Sweet. I'm about to list this film that's incredibly worth money. I can't believe it. Is it is it actually? Yeah, it's fifty bucks. <laughs> and I got it at the bins. And it was a thirty seven cents day at the bins. What I mean by that is we that take is our a... average, we count up all the things we got and we divide it by the cost. So the day we went to the bins this cost thirty seven cents. Right. Because I'm not gonna weigh everything and then no. No no. No. <laughs> yeah. Make me listen. All right, so you're on comment duty now. I'm do that. I can try to be on comment duty. Try. There is no try. Oh, did I just Star Wars quote? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Nice job. Everyone's seeing you clean up so nice. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. All right, let me let me keep I never I never get a chance, you know, to wear my my thrift store finds my sport yeah. coat finds. So, did you shave your head? Uh, I went and got a shave. Yeah, uh, that's why I was asking. I was like, I didn't yep. check you that. Did Bodo go too? No. <laughs> oh. No, just me. Um. Oh, I need my bins. All right, you guys keep 
keep keep it up. Wait, bulk buy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Wait, I gotta go write down some bins, or I'm gonna get all out of whack here. Uh oh. Be right back, Dan. Keep them oh, keep them the, occupied. Uh, the Kumon bins. I'm, I'm trying. I'll try and keep them occupied. Keep everybody occupied from Atlanta. That's where I am. I'm in Atlanta. Fun stuff. Uh, we we went to an Italian place, so it was very limited what I could eat. So I had a uh, I had a small steak. Very delicious. It is. You're right. It's hot, Lena. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, where'd you go? <laughs> I went to, uh, we went to this little Italian place that Larry picked. It's pretty good. I you went like to Italian without rat. the Why? Italian? <laughs> that ain't even yeah. right. Y'all Germans should have gone to a German restaurant. I mean, Larry picked the place. He's Italian. What'd you get? Steak? Um, yeah, I had a little steak. Huh? Yes, a little steak. Yes. Uh, Amway, uh, I don't know if it's still a thing. It's called Quickstar. It's called Quickstar. It was Quickstar for a while. I don't know if it still is. I had a friend that was in deep. Yeah. She was in it. <laughs> but it was Amway stuff, but they had to rebrand or something. Yeah. But you know what? I did buy Amway dish scrubbies. I think Amway's back. Because I bought Amway dish scrubbies at the um, thrift store to sell. And they said Amway on them and they were new, like newer. Oh, okay. So maybe Amway's back. I don't know. I'm not going to look into it because then they'll contact me for the rest of my life. That's true. They will. I can't have that. So anyway, I guess the tip for this is to look for stuff that's obsolete you know, I am one of those people that loves to go and look for Bolo retail arbitrage at the dusty oh, you stores love the dusty and farmers God. markets and hardware stores. I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> Dan does not. Yeah. He gets very frustrated quickly. That's true. You, I do. You, you know, it's hit and miss. <laughs> I don't like the miss. What do you mean? I like the hits. All the hits. No miss. <laughs> Yeah, but you like you also don't like to scan things. You're just like over it. Yeah, sometimes because you have to scan every quick. single thing. Yeah, you do. You're just like walking down the walking down the aisle, picking up everything. Yeah, but when you get a good one, the rush is there. It's kind of like gambling. You hit that button all day long. Yeah. And then you finally get it, and you're like, "Yes, jackpot." <laughs> I think that's why I like it, to be honest. It's very much like gambling. I see, I see why you say that, but that's not, not always true. <clears throat> Your post office go okay? Yeah, I went to UPS, too. I had to ship that stupid thing, UPS. What stupid thing? So, okay, here's the thing. Amy Way. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah, Dan does look like an Amway rep. That's hilarious. Hello. <laughs> um, Can I interest you in this battery charger? <laughs> Do you need some toothpaste? <laughs> This is my dream too, Tommy. I will fight you for this dream. Like you, you take part of the country, and I'll take the other part because I am fascinated by old drugstores in like two pony towns. I am fascinated. That's all I want to do is go scan everything because some of that stuff is worth so much money, and if yeah, you can yeah, find like it. a ton of it. I love watching the people on Instagram. Thrift Travel is one that's of note that shows some of the ones that are kind of like well-known because you don't ever show your sources. Once you find something good, you don't show it. 
uh, yeah. in the early days of our Facebook group, we, we showed some of those and we had a little group going where people were showing what they were getting and we were helping each other, but there was only like five or 10 of us that were helping each other. Cause once you tell somebody, then it no longer becomes a bolo because the, you know, basically the demand and the stuff, the, the, what am I trying to say? Hmm, the supply there, there, they are becomes more listing. So the demand goes down. Right. There become more supply. Y'all, I'm trying. Anyway, so if you find something that's worth a lot, you can't tell anybody. It's very, very. Yeah, the whisk laundry detergent. That's true. And the draft. You you saw us sell those. See, and that's the other thing we were having an issue with is we were doing what's sold and we had bolos in our what's sold. So we would have to check to make sure we weren't like out in somebody's whole stock. And when we did sell, we sold four drafts for like 200 mm-hmm. bucks they did get lost by the way yep package did get lost and ups did reimburse us but man uh but anyway so we always check but we haven't run into that because we haven't been really doing that but if we had been doing these daily what sold videos last year it would have been a huge problem because we were selling a yep. lot of like pharmacy the perfect pinches i think we we killed ourselves with that <laughs> yeah Man, that's because then when everyone went and bought them, like and that. then they weren't worth When Tommy anymore. just listed, that's great. So there were eye drops a couple of years ago, three oh, bucks yeah. a piece, and they were selling on Amazon for 150 to 200. Oh my god, that's I insane. love it! I love these stories. Now, see, that's when people are like, "You need to niche down," and I'm like, "No," because then if stories like that, <laughs> like that's fun, right? I don't want to be bored listing jeans all damn day. I want to go out hunting for eye drops. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There you go. Oh, Janice, speaking of deodorant, I got to bring those over here. I got all these deodorants to list. <laughs> the whole bag full of Mitchums. So you can find these bolos at the thrift store, but it's just, I don't know, it's less fun. Like I have all these Mitchums to list. They're, they smell so strong. And I think they're it's pretty good. So I think I'll I can those smell next them here. You can see what that looks like, that whole process. Oh my gosh, I love it. Those hair products that I found at the thrift, I found four of them. And I swear if I went to the drugstores and hair plate and like that kind of thing, I could find more of them. I just what, need to go. I need ones? to do it. What? Those TG ones you sold for like a hundred dollars. Yeah, bucks the TG ones. Yeah. Yeah, we've done some pretty good things at, at Big Lots as well, Janice. Um but it's harder to do because everyone has a big lots. That's true. And Big Lots what? has gotten all like nice. It's weird. Yeah, Big Lots is like not crappy anymore. And I, I, I don't know about that. I want my Big Lots to be pretty shady, if you know what I mean. Right? <laughs> I'm not comfortable when I go in there and they're selling like furniture and ish. I'm like, what is what is going on here? This is not what I signed up for. I, I only had the cover Vantage photo if you're film. wondering. Man. What? I said I remember that film. That yeah, I got film. I just seen like the di- black paint off it. Yeah. Had black paint on it. Nice. Uh yeah, and I'm just gonna put it I put it expires five twenty two thousand six, so it's old. But the other one that sold for fifty dollars expired seven two thousand six. So I might well, even price go. it a little above. The sold was forty nine ninety five. Okay. Yeah. But see since we have a sale going on. True. Uh, since we have a sale going on, I kind of try to go above this. I might go to 64. See what we can do at that price. Okay. Allow offers. First class. Oh, you are using something. that new listing tool? I'm doing it. I'm trying to get. Oh, no. Oh no, Uh-oh. I gotta do the conditions. I think of my tickets. Oh, I didn't change the date on the tickets. That's fine though. That's fine. I'm hoping this will be this will be a really quick flip. Yeah.
Oh, what are you talking about, Kristen? Thrift to travel? I don't know her at all. I just follow her on Insta. And, you know, I I take screenshots of all the things just so I, in case I can recall. Okay, I've listed three things. Well, kind of. I'm having an issue here. You just got to change your condition. That's all you got to do. Where? Oh, new. List it. All right, let's do these deodorants. So I'll show you how yeah. I use my scanner. I got this big bag of deodorant for half of $8.99, so $4.50. And we're going to do the comps because sometimes with these, if you have bulk, it's better to do them in lots. And I should have a scale to weigh it and see, like, where the where the pound mark is. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Because you want to send first class. So if I could get two or three in a lot, I'm going to go do that really quickly. That would tell us how to list these. We've done yep. it wrong before, and then we list, and it's more than a pound, <laughs> and it's terrible. Yes, because we, we shipped it first class, and then we had to ship a priority and pay more, and we lost money on shipping. It's, you know, good times. Good times. <clears throat> Okay, three of these weighs 14 ounces. Do you think we could do a box okay. for two ounces? Uh, you're They're solid. Close, Maybe they could go in yeah, a I think so. bubble mailer, huh? Yeah, they can, they can go in a bubble. Okay. She had another douchebag YouTuber go after her last year out of jealousy. What? So Thirsty Travel doesn't do a YouTube anymore? Hey, Randy. I didn't know she had a YouTube. Who's a douchebag YouTuber? No, that's impossible. No. <laughs> I don't want to believe this. I don't want to believe that there are douchebag YouTubers. I know that there are, but I don't like that. Right. So I go to search for anything. I just click on it and then I just scan it. Love it. No exact matches. Great. Great. Just great. So that means that no one's put in the UPC for this deodorant. Mitchum. Triple odor defense. I'll tell you what, it smells. The eight <laughs> hour clean control. This is one of the rare cases where I look at the, the ones that have not sold as well. Because you have to know how to sell these. So, like, pairs are selling for $14.99, free shipping. But then what if these have all sold and whatever is left is more expensive? So, you have to kind of check back and forth. I am not going to do free shipping on these deodorants. No way. No. Okay, Canada, $7.25 plus $7.40 for two. Ouch. I got to see if they have multiples. You got to see... Gotta do a little research when you're doing this stuff. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so this one's like our biggest competition. So if we did a lot. Oh, these aren't the same. These aren't the same. (laughs) This is clean control. Okay, not unscented. If they're too heavy, just use them a little bit before selling. Perfect. Yes. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Who's bearded picker? I don't know any of the pickers. Bought her bolo list and released it to the public. No, that's mean. She works really hard on those. I've never bought it, but I can imagine. Look at me talking like I know. Okay, so it looks like if we're doing a two, we're going to wait for this guy to sell out, and that's fine. Okay. This is a two for $15.99 plus $6 shipping, and we know that we can do it for $4.99 for the most part. So I'm going to I'm gonna compete with this guy. And we also have a sale going on perpetually. So I'm going to probably mark ours up to like, what's $15.99? Let's get the calculator out here. What's like, I think like $17.99? Hey. <laughs> Minus 
15 29 I would undercut him and they would feel like they were getting a super deal and I'll cut him off with shipping. So I'm going to do a pack of two, which won't get us over the weight limit. And we're going to sell these puppies for $17.95. Okay. That's how that's done. And then you can watch our wood souls to see if I'm actually ever going to sell one. Hmm. Yes. But that's still pretty good. Like even if we get a $10 offer, I have a yep. bag full of these and I paid three bucks. I'll sell yeah. anything. These, I, don't care. I mean, these things will, they will flip. So. Yeah. Oh, we flipped Old Spice. Oh, the old, the red Old Spices, if you can find them. Oh, yeah. The, can you describe that? Can you remember? I don't remember which one, which one the bolo was. I don't remember if it's the white solid. It's or the not green the solid. scent. It's the, the fact that it's a red tube. Yeah. Old but Spice the, changed the about, solid, like a, the color, the color of the solid had something to do with it also. Yeah, like blue. The blue one's either crap blue or something. Or the white. I think the white one's the... We don't know. Okay. The old <laughs> Old Spice is way better than the new and people care. Oh, yes, they, they care. They t- <laughs> Everyone was like, thank God you have these. <laughs> so they were in at Ollie's um, Wholesale Market. This is when I was really into the, the whole like supermarket situation. Ollie's Wholesale Place, um, O-L-L-I-E-S. Everyone always says, I think I'm saying Aldi's, which I'm not. I'm saying Ollie's. Anyway, they had these shopping carts at the front, and all of these Old Spices were a dollar. I'm like, damn, let's get them all. And we got, like, so (laughs) many Old Spices. How many do you think we got? Because I'll exactly. Oh, man. I was going to say 100. At least 40. Oh. (laughs) Told you I exaggerate. (laughs) We got a lot. And we sold them in, in... twos or fours or something like that they sold out so quick i wish we had got more you know yeah but they didn't like they didn't start selling until it was too late for us to go back and get more yeah exactly right they didn't start selling until no one could get them anymore yeah all right here we go we're gonna add these photos Hopefully this is helping someone out there, at least if you're listening along with us. Yeah. Hopefully. I never know. I'm just airdropping. We have Mac stuff. I'm sure there's another way to do this. And if you list on the phone now, you can. This... Well, mm. if you're new, the new listing tool, you have that import from mobile option up at the top there as well. No. Oh, right there. I do. Let's try it. Yep. I thought I had to be on my phone. Oh, I see. So it goes away. See? Oh, sneaky. I couldn't find it because I didn't I didn't hover over this random white spot. So if you're wondering where that f- function is and <laughs> it's gone from yours, like if I hover up here, it's That's gone. That's so stupid. Why do you have to put your mouse pointer over the photos area for that to show? That's put your dumb. mouse area over this blank area. It's like playing Zelda when you have to stab the bushes to see if there's things yep. inside of them. You just randomly yep, put exactly your mouse everywhere like. to see what comes up. Oh, <laughs> add photos yeah so what happens is once you click that link and if you have the ebay app on your phone you'll get a notification on your phone to add your photos to the listing you do it through the ebay app and then you resume your draft on the computer okay i did it but i'm i'm just i'm not gonna say I'm not going to say that that was faster than AirDrop. Not even a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if it's faster. It's just... No, it was not faster. So that's good if somebody doesn't have AirDrop. AirDrop, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remove background. I keep wanting this tool to be better than it is. Right. Like, why is it so bad? There's... (laughs) Just gonna brighten it because it's so bad. I could not figure out because you know how this is a preview on the other listening tool. Right. I couldn't figure out how yeah. to change this photo. Tracy was like, <laughs> drag it to the big photo. I was like, oh, <laughs> that is the photo. I see. And then it imports them backwards. If anybody's new to this, I'm just letting you know my experience. 
it imports your photos in the backwards order that you select them. I don't love that. No, that's annoying. Yeah. So this is going to be in the cabinet. Okay, how many do I have? This is what we got to figure out. That's two. I think I have extra. I have an extra one. Ugh, I hate that. You have an odd number. So here's where we make the tickets for this kind of stuff. And if you're wondering why we make tickets with individual prices on everything, it's just for us to know each day to check in and be like, okay, that was a good buy. If we don't do that, we, we don't have any idea of the health of our business. Right. Yeah. We don't actually like track that huh? and report. We don't actually track and report those. So no, no, no. We just have them on our tickets so that, I mean, I do put it into Vendue. Right. I put the cost of goods into Vendue. But what we report to our tax agent is just total. All right. I have one, two, three, four, five, six sets of these. Sweet. And I spent four fifty. So we're gonna do a little math here. Okay. Four forty nine divided by six. We do not pay sales tax. Um so that's yeah, seventy five cents each. Huh? We've been th we've been thinking about how to do a video for people that only use their phones. Because I was, th I, th I had that thought. I was like, well, you know, not everybody uses a desktop or a laptop for their listings. So we'll have to figure out. I mean, I know you can screen record on the phone and stuff like that. So maybe we'll do a, uh, a phone one, one of these days. Yeah. That sounds good. Let me change the state. It's killing me. Yeah, Randy, so do we. We use photo room for the background. I was saying before you got here, Randy, that I'm stubborn and I refuse to pay for it again since Dan already has it. <laughs> so I just printed six tickets that have the same information so that if a two pack sells, then we can fill in the information and then we'll know, like if it sells for $15, I put the sale price on here. I'm like, okay, that was a really good buy. We should look for more health and beauty at the thrift, which I always do anyway, right. but Sometimes we oh, pay so, up. Yeah. It's more for when we pay up for things. Our cost of goods is so low, but sometimes we pay up and we need to know whether that was worth it or not. And we've also mm -hmm. been able to see how much our cost of goods have dropped over the years. Oh my God. When we sell old things now, you probably see us in our videos. We're like, how much do we pay for that? Yeah. It's crazy. We would pay like $10 for things. Never happens now. No. Dan will be like, should I pay up? It's $8. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Ladybug and Tommy only use their phone. And wow. Amanda. Yeah, Poshmark for sure uses phone. We started on our phone on Poshmark. Yeah. For us with the ticket system and putting things into Vendu and everything, it's just the workflow on the computer is so much better yeah. for me. Do you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, Randy, same way. Yeah, totally. Yeah, Randy just said he'd be lost without his computer. He couldn't do it on just the phone. I couldn't either. I really couldn't. I'm not going to do free shipping because Don't the ones that sold all have free shipping, but the ones that are listed right now do not have free shipping. So that's why I check both. Yeah. Uh, see, okay. List perfectly rated photo room into their thing. Yeah. You know, I wish we could do this perfectly. The tabs, I can't do the tabs. Right. And the analytics on Vendu are just irreplaceable. I, I agree with that. Invaluable for us, the way we work. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, um, Amanda. Uh, I, I couldn't imagine trying to do like the intricate setting up of like campaigns and promotions and that kind of stuff on the phone. I and mean, I'm sure you could do it, but probably not very easy. 
Yeah, I can't do that either. I don't know how you would do it. I mean, Tommy does it. He does campaigns. Yeah, that's true. No, Vendu does not open any separate tabs at all. It's amazing. But you know what? <laughs> that's what I love about reselling because you can do it however you want to. It's your business. That's true. Yeah, It's so great. You don't have to follow someone's guide. You don't have to follow someone's protocol. You do it how you want to. Yeah. It's yep. amazing. All right, I'm pretty excited to get these deodorants listed because I've been meaning to list them for a long time. They're not going to sell if they're just sitting here, you know? Right. All right, next. I've been trying to get this thing. This is Dakin. This thing isn't good, babe. You bought this. It's not that good. <laughs> right. Huh? Which one? I don't know. So, okay. You got tricked. I'm going to show you the trick that got you. Okay. I'm not calling you out or throwing you under the bus. This is a learning moment. Okay. All right. All right. For anybody that sells plush, and I know a lot of you do. Okay. So this looks really cool. Right? Mm -hmm. It looks kind of vintage. You're like, oh, yes. It's on the foot. It's like this big red patch. It says Dakin. And you're like, okay, I'm in the money now. You know where this came from? Um, I do not. Big lots. Really? Yes. Wow. On the tag, Dakin made exclusively for big lot stores. That's funny. I'm still going to list it because, you know, people get gifts. It's kind of like the Walmart plush. I'm still going to list it. Sure. Yeah. But I'm just letting you know. Hi, Gretchen. You'll pay $10 for something. You can... Would you really? I think Dan and I will be sweating that. I think so, too. Because <laughs> he comes up to me and he'll be like, it's, you know, whatever, like $15. The comps are only at like 80 like for a sport coat. And I'm like, but like they're selling for 80 And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only 80 and i'm like oh right no i mean but perfect example we I, we left uh there was a polo ralph lauren sport coat at uh at the store the other day and we they had it marked it was marked way up it was marked 30 bucks <clears throat> and i mean i probably could have flipped it for 130 but i left it i didn't buy it it's too much for us i think it's too much money tied up in goods and and this could change like if you talk to us next year our business model is always flexible yeah for sure but our our receipt when we leave the thrift store is always like 60 dollars and under if we spend over 60 and i'm telling you full big bags of stuff if we spend over 60 dollars there must be like something magic in the bag but that's of recently we used to spend like 200 dollars <clears throat> yep. Recently, be meaning from like, I would say the last twelve months. So like, right, half of twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. Right. We just, I don't know why we just really really shifted to like. I think it's when we put all of our receipts into that spreadsheet. We put everything into the not your dad CPA spreadsheet. Right. And right. Um, it brings up your cost of goods and it it tracks it throughout the year. And so we love to thrift, but we don't want that. Our cost of goods have never gone above $4 since we started that ever. Yeah. Even yep. on the most, even when we went to the estate sale and bought $900 worth of, worth of, worth of clothes, our, our cost of those were only $3 and eight cents a piece. I don't know if it's a good, good thing we're doing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Janice, you, you do get better o over time for sure. I think that's exactly what it is. We've figured out what's worth our time, which I can argue is maybe more important than more important than money. Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't sell and you have to spend a lot of time cleaning it or testing it or whatever, that's that all goes into your cost of goods because that's your time. You couldn't have told us that at the beginning. 
We wouldn't have listened. No. I know it. It's so interesting. You know, it's not interesting. This bear. My light box. I think I'm the same way. This bear. I think I'm the same way, Tony. I would rather turn 50 into 100 than 2 into 20. Who said that? Or you said that? Tommy. Tommy said that. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. But because you'd have to turn 2 into 20 at least two and a half times. Right. For the one sale of 50 into 100, right? Right. To make that same $50. Yeah. So that's more time listing. But if it's something like plush that I'm listing in two seconds, it just depends. Like we... Everything in reselling, it depends. How do I yeah, get my depends on how I'm feeling right that second. <laughs> yeah. This is way too small of a photo room. I mean, photo booth to take these. Oh, well. I feel like if someone wants this bear, they're going to know what it is. Like, they don't care. Right? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Huh? What'd you say? I said the pictures aren't going to be great because my photo booth is way too small to take. No, that's fine. I think it's fine. Whoever wants his bear knows what they're looking for. Yeah. Big Lots bear. His little face. <laughs> I should set my phone up as a source. I wonder if it lets you do that. Yeah, I put big lots in the title. I, I priced it at $30. I'm trying to go high with it. We're going to see. Again, I think my new theory as of like a couple of months ago is that if you price plush high, it'll sell high. Yeah. I'm testing it out for you guys to let you know. But my theory has been proven pretty true time and time again. Hey, eBay, come on. Going Anybody? kind of slow there. That's yeah, everybody's been complaining about eBay being uh -oh. slow. Oh, I'm not fine. You know what, though, Gretchen? We didn't find much stuff in Colorado for less than $5 either. That's true. So I think location has something to do with it as well. I think the cost of goods in Colorado are just higher. We went to at least 20 thrift stores. I'm not kidding. Between our two trips. Yep. And we were like, whoa, the prices are so <laughs> yeah, high. So maybe if you it. do more thrifting when you're in Texas, it will be better as far yeah. as cost goes. I pay up for my shoes, but all are handpicked. Most sell within a week. I pay 50, 5 to 20 depending on the shoe and average sales price of 80 That's like the dream, right? Yep. That's the dream scenario. I think any if anybody in this chat would do that. We just don't have handpicked sources that will do that for us. Yeah, so Janice knows our prices are low here for the most part. Goodwill's getting crazy. Yep. Yeah, Colorado cost of living is much higher for sure. Yeah, Gretchen, you don't go to the bins much there, right? I'm in stinky Amarillo. Why is it stinky? We were going to go there on Friday. Hey, we don't have to go. Peely's not coming to Texas. Oh, weird. Okay. Denver's been to the best the... in the country, huh? Okay. The duck? Bob, wait. Bob loves the duck. Bob freaking <laughs> loves the duck. Bob's obsessed with us, and he keeps sending Dan pictures of him fishing. Oh, yep. Dan, Jazz is in... Um, she said, gotta go. But she's in Australia. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was morning there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It smells like cows. Oh, my God. We were about to go there on Friday because my friend was coming into town, but now he's not. But now that you can see my whole screen, you can see what happens when I airdrop. 
So normally you guys don't see this part. Oh, that's true. So here they are, and I just drag them on over. That's all I do. Oh, I, I would love to find free birds. Oh, you found them at the Denver bins. Wow. Ooh. No, I don't know them. Do they have a YouTube? I'm going to write it down. Is this true or Insta? You guys are always introducing us. You know, was, we don't, we're not socially connected. It was from Brad Colorado. And Jazz. We, we, we bought it in Colorado, brought it home, and then sold it. And I think it went to, where did Bob live? Michigan or something? Yeah. Yeah. He loves the duck. He collects them for 50 years. Yes, he does. <laughs> Yeah, it was from Colorado. But here's the thing. The stuff we normally buy, I could not find at the Colorado bin. I mean, Colorado thrifts. I bought some plush. I bought a couple things like here and there. But I, it was expensive. And in, in the time that we were driving from, where is that city? We were, we, were, we were at the Stanley Hotel. And we were driving from Boulder to Denver to go to the airport. We stopped at thrifts the whole day. So, mm -hmm. like, very many. Mom and Pops, Goodwills arcs like every thrift and every time we were just like whoa the prices are so high compared to what we were used to okay amy's not taking these photos in square mode <laughs> nobody's gonna tell me nobody's gonna tell me <laughs> dang it it's fine it's fine, fine. <clears throat> i can't believe nobody told me you don't need to stop no, I got to at least get the cover photo in square mode. Dang it. <laughs> the whole internet's making fun of me behind my back. I know it. No. Oh, they have a life channel, too. Oh, they do? The Aussies, yeah. That's cool. Oh, sweet. You guys are so connected. Tracy told them to come over here. How do we get more connected? I guess we have to watch YouTube to get connected. Dang it. <laughs> I'm gotta, working. Gotta hang, out in, gotta hang out in the chats. Really? That's That seems like you would be like totally down for that, but you don't watch YouTube. Right How do we get you to watch YouTube? Dan's like all in the chats on things. He's really good at that. Okay, I'm going to try the background eraser one more time. Terrible. Oh, no, terrible. terrible. Always leaves the floor. It always does. So <laughs> the light box yes. that we have is like emergency light box. It's just going to have to be light boxy. <clears throat> it's a cute picture, though. He looks much bigger. Yeah. You know what? It's a big lot's bear. I'm not going to stress about this. Hey, you know what I am proud of, though? I'm using the new listing tool. So... That's amazing. I'm doing it. Are you doing it just because? or? Yeah. I just, forced? like, you know, I figure they're going to make me switch and I don't want to have a meltdown. Right. Someone asked me a question, so I had to come over here. And then I was like, well, I'll just stay here. I see. I don't know, Tracy, if they got rid of Ivory or not. But Amy wants to create a petition for them to add teal and coral. 100%. It's stupid that they don't. It would take them four <laughs> seconds. It's so stupid. I get like irrationally mad about it every time. Yeah, see, Elaine is listening to Teal Jacket right now. Yes, it's so frustrating because you put blue or green. What do you put? 
I think I put green most of the time, unless it's more blue. Thirteen inch sits, sits thirteen inches tall. <laughs> I put both measurements for plush because I don't know. I'm I'm not a plush person. I have no idea. But plush people care. They really care. They really do. I think this do you think this can go first class? It's really light, but it's big. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, I have a scale over here. It's just buried. We bought a scale, so I would have one. Oh, wait. No, I don't. One's out in the garage. Oh, it's out in the garage. That's right. Donuts. Oh, my God. I can't. I thought you were talking about real donuts. <laughs> I was excited. I love donuts. The Al Bundy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we almost bought an Al Bundy couch one time. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Al Bundy couch? Yes. Bundy mode? Yep. Like, the whole thing flipped up, and then the back flipped up, so you could, like, rest your head on it. It had cup holders. We were like, this is the Bundy couch. Al Bundy would have loved this. But we did you not buy it. Issue. We almost did. I put the buy now price. Son of a... Y'all saw me do it. I saw you. I saw you do it. So, how do I keep buy it now? must be greater than equal to 99 cents. Mm hmm And it was in the draft already. See, glitch. Feedback. Mm. <laughs> this guy. Okay. Now I'm going to do some of these belts that I already... Here we go. Vintage Elk Burr. Tech Ether. Do I have the Tech Ether over here? No. Banana Republic Ivory Silver Buckle. It's going to flag me because I put ivory. So I need to change that. What color do you think this is called? Like cream? But I didn't feel like that sounded right. Yeah, I don't know if they have a cream option. I don't know how to take pictures of belts. Oh, God, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I haven't gotten a lot done, but I've gotten some done. That's all that counts. It's better than nothing. True. I need to get the color right on this, Amy. Come on. Do your job. So this whole time I've been trying to do the brightness in eBay. I could have been doing it on... Y'all. That's what happens. On your phone? Yes. I'm just not used to taking photos. I never do this. Yeah. Everybody that's a one-man operation is like, welcome to my life. Yeah. I can't really. <clears throat> this is hard. <clears throat> what belts? Well, getting like the embossed print. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Yo, don't make fun of my pictures. I'm just trying to get listings up. I don't think anyone's going to make fun of them, but I feel like that is half the problem with listing a lot of us have, the perfection thing. Yeah. You don't have that. <laughs> I don't, no. No. 
You're right. <laughs> That's why you do the photos. We've split up duties accordingly. You're like, it's fine. It's totally fine. Worry about. <laughs> Is anyone else getting insane amounts of returns right now like we are? It's crazy. Where is Courtney Tracy? Can't believe she hasn't found this yet. Um, are you talking about Courtney Common Tags, Courtney? The one person I do know on YouTube? I have messaged her. Um Tracy got over it. I wish I could get over it. She's going through a lot of life changes if you're talking about that, Courtney. The one person on YouTube I know. Yeah. But she also doesn't work at night. Right. A lot of people that we know don't do work at night. And so they're kind of alienated. They feel. And I get it. Monarch Tomato, okay. Has, yeah, we love Courtney. Yeah, 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 yeah. She um, helped us get monetized. She's the reason. Yep. Um, and she reaches out to us. She gives us advice on videos a lot. Well, she used to. And she's been very, very, very helpful for us. And I can't say enough good things about Courtney. When the rest of the YouTube community is, is pretty... What's the word, Dan? Um, not, I don't know. You know, they're standoffish, not helpful. Okay. We try to go out of our way to help people. And we've asked yeah. questions of some of the other YouTubers and they don't, no, it's not good. <laughs> so we no, just stop. We're just like, okay. Yeah. We try to reach out to some people to do collabs before and they just don't respond or they don't care. And they're just like, yeah, okay, no. But not Courtney. She's been very, very helpful. Oh, that's cool. You know, every YouTuber goes through that moment where you're trying to get monetized, where you're like so freaking close. Yeah. Randy. <laughs> <laughs> and we asked her to do a collab and she was like, I'm really too busy to do a collab. And then like two days later, she called us. Let's do this club. We're like, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing every photo. I said I was going to do this. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know. I've gotten I was <laughs> talking about Courtney. <laughs> okay, so Monarchs and Margaritas had a bunch of returns too. It's not just us. Yeah. She works at night sometimes. Okay, okay, okay. When we are alive, she stays up sometimes with us. Yeah, but she's not working during that, right? She's probably like, chilling with her dog. Chilling like Al Bundy like you are right now. Hmm. She's in Bundy mode. Man, right after this live, we get in Bundy mode. That's right. Dateline mode. But we've been watching Ozark. That's been pretty great. Oh, man. We got like, what, two episodes left, I think? Yep. Yeesh. Custom label. Where are we going to put these? In a bin? Nothing should fit into a bin.
<laughs> that's all we watch is crime dramas and like true crime shows. That's it. Totally. Everything else is like boring. <laughs> I hate that it doesn't keep my price. I'm about to flip the table over. So when I make the skeleton drafts, I'm really careful to keep the price. And this new listing tool is not keeping the price. Man, that sucks. Now I don't remember what the price was. $24.95? I have no idea. Sounds about right. So annoying. <sighs> oh well. What you gonna do? Oh, another condition. Is... <laughs> I clicked it. I don't know why it's not <laughs> saving it. <laughs> Where even is condition? Maybe I didn't click it. I swear I did this. listing it. They keep me grounded, you know. Have you ever tried that, Tommy? Okay, so now when I click on something, I have to remember... Twenty two ninety five. I wasn't. I wasn't far off. These banana republic belts are nice. I thought they would go for more, but they're only going for like twenty five or twenty. That's fine. Paid two bucks for it. Yep. I like to buy things that people need, like classics. Like you always need a belt. I don't know if you need a white belt, but. This one's really cool. I, I enjoy this belt. This is a size 34. It's tiny, but it's it's got some cool patina on it. You wanted to see it. It's cool. I don't have like a system for taking pictures of belts at all. I'm in the get it done mode. It. Tommy said live police chases are so much fun. Great to watch with the viewers and do polls on the outcomes. <laughs> I feel like we can watch this from the front porch. Yeah. Oh my god, someone just bought a pan from us. We don't even have pots and pans. Like, how did this even happen? The weirdest like the stuff last, has been selling. The last on one we have. I mean, not that many <laughs> sales, but what has been selling is very strange. Yeah. Did you see we sold that board game? We, uh, the Which crime one? one? No. What's it called? The one, the one that I wanted to open up and play? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. It does look like a cool game, not gonna lie. It's like a board game. Yeah. I don't know what I'm taking pictures of, okay? I'm just taking all the pictures. Just take them. Huh? So just take them. I know, I'm just, I am. Made in Usa. This stuff has been sitting on my desk, so I'm just so happy to get it listed, you know? I made drafts for this stuff like two years ago. Revereware, no lid. What? So the Revereware, no lid. That's what we say. I don't even thought, I didn't even think we had pots and pans. Yeah, I think we have like one or two left. Well, 
When I tell you we have sold everything, we have sold everything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there can be there can be some money hiding in the belts. That's for sure. I mean that that elk horn belt buckle that Amy found is worth what? Probably about a hundred bucks, maybe more. I think two hundred. Two hundred, awesome. It's over there, and I really should list it right now, but I'm terrified to list it. This is what happens when I have high value stuff. Yeah. I don't list it for fear of getting it wrong. Mm-hmm. But then it's never going to sell. Like the duck. I never listed the duck. I didn't want to list the duck. I knew it was worth money. I was terrified to list the duck. We list it and it sells in a week. It's a bob. Yeah, oh, we true. have a new bob today. We have someone stalking us. Did you ever write them back? Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> Did you just send the same message over and over like they did to us? Kind of. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Like, First of all, I don't even understand why it allowed me to ship to a P.O. box with UPS and didn't give me an error because I guess that's what happened. Um, because his delivery address was a P.O. box. Uh-huh. So so it's coming. I don't know how to handle this, though. I mean, it's coming back. Do, so do we just are we going to have to just pay for the new shipping label and eat, eat that cost? Well, I mean, it's or, only or what? I don't know. With UPS, I don't know what the return shipping... I don't know. So I think it might right. be worth reaching out to eBay and being like, why didn't this flag yet? I, how am I supposed yeah. to know? Right. It shouldn't allow you to do that. Right. It, we, and it would be different if we purchased it through Pirate Ship. We purchased it through eBay. Right. <laughs> oh, thank you. Basic Girl said, that's a nice belt picture. Oh, I mean, I've been working on my technique, you know. Girl, what am I saying? Please put no. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it's a P.O. box, UPS shouldn't even come up as an option. And remember that one time we had that really expensive thing? It was the same same deal. It was going to a P.O. box, and it wouldn't let me select the UPS as an option. So I don't even understand how this happened this time. I don't know. I have no idea. But but the guy's like he's like super impatient. He's like send it to this address, and I'm like, well, dude, if it's I don't coming, have I gotta it. wait. I have to wait until it actually comes back to me before I can do anything. <laughs> so I think you reach out to eBay and just like hound them until they let you, right? Yeah. Because I don't want to pay for return shipping. I don't know if they have to pay. I don't know if we have to pay. Rolling Stones belt, no. Right. Uh, I don't remember looking at the label, to be honest with you, Tony. I don't know. I just printed it and stuck it on the box. But when I check the address in my shipping labels page in eBay, it does have it does indicate a PO box. So. Um, okay, Gretchen has her packages with her in Texas, and she printed the labels in Denver. Will she get in trouble? Girl, we have dropped no. packages all over this country. I'm not sure I've, you're supposed I've to do print, that. I've, yeah. <laughs> I've printed labels in Dallas, taken the package with me to Denver, and dropped it at the post office in Denver. It's fine. Denver, Myrtle <laughs> Beach. I mean, the zone, the zones are a little different, so technically you might not be paying the right post, but whatever. They just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but we have definitely done it, because we try to go to the post office before the airport, and we never make it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right on, Randy. Good call. Yeah, you do have to ship it at 35 pounds. It is crazy, right? That would not have been... They would have charged you so much on the back end for that. They have set up deals on the to make that happen. To make what happen? What, to let UPS deliver to post office? To PO boxes? I don't think that's up to eBay. I think that's a UPS and FedEx um, thing. 
Tracy said you can get flagged for drop shipping if you do that too often. Truth. <laughs> we don't we don't make a habit of it, but mm. Yeah, it's 367 difference and that's totally fine, but then once you send it and you don't do dimensional shipping, you pay $80. Crazy. Right. Yeah. Exactly right. UPS cannot touch a PO box. So should I look this up? Like, do is there a way to look it up? I don't want to show people's addresses. Never mind. Right. I don't know. I'm Can you look it up? up? Yeah, but I mean, if I have to, you know, if I have to contact eBay and spend time chatting with them, I'd rather do it when I'm back at home tomorrow night. Okay, Gretchen, go mail your packages. I love it. <laughs> they give it to the Are post you office. Serious? They cared about the return address? You gotta be kidding. That's crazy. Some post offices are cranky. Yeah. But Randy's saying there's a deal with UPS in the post office, but then why is it getting returned to us? Right. Because they can't they can't deliver it, so they have to give it back to return it to sender. Oh, Since Tommy was a UPS driver. My dad was a UPS driver for many, many years. Right on. I know all about it. Yeah, sure post and smart post. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah those are different. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that, that stuff's all about. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I did not get as much listed as I wanted to. I have all this stuff. I'm going to list this squishmallow right now. Oh, I didn't distract you. Huh? So I hope I didn't distract you. No, no, no. I'm just doing a lot, you know, new listing tool, et cetera. Yeah. yeah. In the belts. I don't really know what I'm doing, so. It's fine. I'll do this belt because I have a draft for it, I think. Zip Pro. Yeah. I thought this was going to be worth more, but it's not. It's fine. Oh, hey, Sal. Hey, I subscribed to your thing, Sal, and somebody else who was it. You have a live or a podcast or something. I subscribed to it yesterday. trying to be better That's funny. Tommy, did you give up UPS because you were like delivering to resellers and you were like, wait, I could do this. <laughs> no worries. Man, baby. my dad used to get pizza. his ass whipped at U UPS. Man, he would come home so late and so tired because some days they gave you a jump driver and other days they didn't. And it was like Christmas and Lord. And you can't go back until, well, this was back in the day. I don't know. He couldn't go back until his truck was empty. And he would run from stop to stop. Wow. He was in really good shape then. There okay, was like so yeah, some Tommy, kind of Tommy said he would drop 100 boxes at the post office for sure post. And then they would deliver the next day to the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Did you retire from UPS? Because I think my dad did. They have a really good retirement thing, and you can retire early. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, he's saying there are no hours. Three places. What? He said they have no hours. There's a start time, and you're done when the last delivery is done. That's exactly right. I remember my dad during Christmas coming home at like 10 p.m. And being just totally white, like completely drenched in sweat. Because, like, the truck would be full from the top all the way to the back. And he knows, you know, you get a route. And he knows his, knows his route. And then he would be like, there was no jump. Like, I guess I'm no extra person. Tommy said he quit. He gets his pension in 55. Oh, nice. I think my dad, he didn't work there the full time either. But the benefits are really good. I think he gets a pension. I think he only worked there for like 10 years or something. He used to work at another company before them called RPS. And then they dissolved or something. And then he went to UPS. I remember RPS from back in the day. Do you? Yeah. My dad worked for like their corporate. Well, he was a delivery driver first. And then he worked for their off main office in D.C. Yeah. He's worked for all the delivery places you ever could want to know. This buckle looks really bad. It doesn't look that bad in real life. Maybe you take the brains down. <laughs> Man, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Okay, background eraser. What you got? That's pretty decent. That's decent no, it's like engine. dark. When I go to brighten it, the the wear on it looks oh yeah Jesus. you're absolutely right about that yeah <laughs> what <laughs> he said at 55 currently for 24 years of service he gets 5200 a month pre-tax for the pension but he said that's going to be like 12 bucks in 10 years oh my god stop <laughs> i went reseller thrifting today are you not supposed to be going i didn't know this Ooh, called out. Not the best belt picture today. No, this one's not good. <laughs> this one was hard. It's all kind of curled up on itself, too. This is not, this was not my best work, y'all. Not my best work. We'll see which was the best one, and then I'll put that as the cover. Yeah. Yeah, every time I order boxes from the post office, but our postal carriers, they, they, they drive but then they park their van on the street and walk the houses because the mailboxes are all up at the like attached to the house on the porch so they walk it they don't just you know drive down the street um so every time we get big deliveries they the van pulls up and then I, and if i order boxes i order like 400 at a time so there's always like they're throwing the the plastic it sounds like an earthquake onto the, onto the porch. <laughs> yeah. Last one, you guys. Woo woo. See, I'm not worrying about these other pictures. Like, they'll get the point. Yeah. Yeah. Size 40. This is not a 40. Oh, my God. I almost did a bad thing. I have not been checking this. I'm going to have to go back and check all of these. Okay. This is... Is this a men's belt? Do we think? Uh -oh. 32. I, I don't want to listen to the unisex category. Like, I think... No. Awesome. Everybody's checking in with their progress. Yes. Tell me out loud. Uh, where'd it go? Well, Lisa, we're, Randy did 10 listings and 14 drafts. 
Wow. Great. Tommy sold seven since we've been live. He said, let's keep going all night. <laughs> what? I haven't sold Jack. I sold a pot and a pan. Dang. That's incredible. What? That's crazy. And Pisa's been selling six eggs on Etsy for 40 bucks. Like real eggs? Yeah, I guess she has chickens. <laughs> How, do you sell, nah, How do you sell a chicken egg on Etsy? Why does Postal Service lock you out of your account, Megan? That's cool. What? That's call. Just call. Yeah, we call the post office a lot. Poshmark sale. What? I haven't checked our Poshmark. Maybe we sold something there. Twenty pairs of hokas. Wow! I wish I could get that kind of stuff. That's amazing. I'm over here listing these dollar belts. <laughs> Said you call them orbs on Etsy. That's how you sell eggs. You call them what? <laughs> orbs. orbs. Is it an actual chicken egg or a wooden egg? I think it's an old fresh chicken egg. Nah. -uh. Like. Like farmer's market fresh, like just laid fresh. But then why wouldn't someone just go to the farmer's market? Maybe they don't have a farmer's market. Danica ordered four cabinet cards. I mean, listed four cabinet cards. Nice. Farm Orbs. fresh bud nuggets. Nice. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I see. Okay. Amanda, we do the same thing. We try to list it as it comes in our house, regardless of the value. She has brief. Fresh butt seconds. nuggets. That has got to be Matt. I don't have my glasses on, but that yeah, is a Matt is. comment. <laughs> Bob a link to what? Bob loves ducks, not eggs. Right. Oh, you're cool breeds. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're like chickens. Like chicken eggs to hatch. Yeah, I thought yeah, they yeah. were like eggs you eat. That's what I thought at first. They're like fertilized <laughs> chicken eggs. They're going to be chicks. Yeah. That's cute. Yes. Okay. Live Bob orbs. definitely wants an orb. <laughs> I'm cracking yeah, up with the orbs. Him. We'll just send him an orb. <laughs> Fertilized yeah. orbs. I can't. Y'all stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan's in, in um, Hot Lana. I'll be back home tomorrow. Yeah, I need to. St I told him we're going to be coming in on two wheels because I have to pick you up at six, which means you won't get to the car till six thirty. Right. We'll have to go to In and Out right there. Yep. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> 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 I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Good thing we're not monetized. We can't get kicked off. Go for it. That's that's exactly Say whatever right. you want to. <laughs> that's why I think Dan would like these late night. There, a lot of people have these late night lives, and they're just like shooting yeah. the crap. You would love it. I'm sure. I'm sure I would enjoy myself. What? I said I'm sure I would enjoy myself. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know how many people are on here, so I'm going to look real quick. I'm just going to peek. 32 people are still here. 32? That's incredible. No, people are working. Or they're just Al bundy -ing. Two offers nice. and two ships. Right? No, see, we, we, we've hacked in, in and out even more. We get the Flying Dutchman's now. Better. Not as messy. Yeah, we used to get double-double. And uh, cheaper. Protein style. 
But now the yep. Flying Dutchmans are cheaper. You can get four patties for the price of three. Well, less than that. It's super cheap. Yeah, get I, a Flying Dutchman. I'm telling you, it will change yeah. your life. It's super. It's like three dollars. Um, it's it's a burger patty, cheese burger patty, nothing else. And they give it to you like in on a box, wax paper on box in a box. <laughs> but then you but can yeah, ask can for spread two, and pickles and all that stuff. Yeah, I get two Flying Dutchmans for less money than. Um, Two, a three triple, triple. A three by huh? three, yeah. One three by three, yeah. Yeah, I think it's three something. And so what it is, it's like a burger patty. It's supposed to be a burger patty, two slices of cheese and a burger patty. That's why it's called a flying right. Dutchman because like the cheese is in the middle. But ours doesn't make it that way because they're silly. They put the cheese, they layer it so it gets all stuck to the paper. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, bruh. <laughs> Yeah, you asked for that. Yep. It's on the, you know, it's the hidden hidden menu thing. Yep. You say, I want a flying Dutchman. Dan gets two. So he gets four Maybe. patties. So we yep. get two, we get three flying Dutchmans. Is, this is. And um, <laughs> don't even talk about frat boys. We got them next door. <laughs> yes, I have and had it, a juicy boozy. Yep. Ew. And anyway, it costs $8. We get two waters and six burger patties and 12 yeah. slices of cheese for eight dollars <laughs> yes That's amazing. cheap date that's right yeah so we'll have to hit that up tomorrow the key to in and out is not getting a drink the drinks are crazy expensive true stop it young <laughs> <laughs> i can't <laughs> Y'all need to get off my podcast with your... I mean, my podcast. What do I do with YouTube? Get out of my chat. Get this out. Is nasties. Y'all's nasties. I'm finishing my champagne, and then I'm getting out of here. All right. Which one of you wants this Ghostbusters hat? Because I know one of you does. I'm going to send it to you. This thing's cool. It's, like, brand new. But it's, like, not too Ghostbusters-y, so you don't feel like a nerd. Look at it. It's cool. Black on black. It's nine fifty. Oh, I don't yeah. think it's worth much. I seriously want to send it to somebody. It's too cool. It's not gonna look good in photos either. It's got a little red accent here. You can't mm-hmm. see me. Hold mm-hmm. on. Hold on. I gotta make you so you can see me. You're gonna have all the things. Oh. Hold on. Shield shield your eyes, people. Uh oh. Shield your eyes. Your eyes. I told, I you. told you. Shield them. Shield them. Oh god, I'm, oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm like multiplied. multiplied. Oh, 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 god. oh god. Okay, that's better. This is what I was showing you. It has this like red accent. It's really cool. But I looked it up and there's no comms. Strange. Yeah. Hmm. Hold on, I probably have an echo going on. No, not anymore. Okay. I'm frozen. I can't look at the iPad. Bye. Yeah, you're. Yeah, it's going. Okay, I'm good over here. Slow. Yeah, there you go. I just turned it off. <laughs> I know what's going on. But now on I can't hear you at all. Stop. <laughs> it's weird. It was fine. Okay, go. The screen was up, but all of a sudden it's weird. Anyway. No, I can't hear you at all. Great. Yeah, it's fine. I can't hear you at all. Okay. <laughs> Sonic. I have questions. I'm not a Sonic expert. I can't do that. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> I was going. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to bed. Okay. These bye. frozen looks. We're frozen? <laughs> We're frozen. No, you're, you're very jumpy. <laughs> I don't know why. I got to turn off the iPad. <laughs> We're not frozen. We're good. We're good. No, Sonic like the restaurant, I think. We were talking about yeah. that. Okay, we can't hear Dan, but anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I could turn on my thing, but then it'll be echoey. I'm not yeah, going to do, do that. that. I'm not going to do that. 
No. Bye, you guys. Thank you for Everybody hanging out have a good with us. Night. It's been real. We'll be back in real time tomorrow. They can hear you. I just can't hear you. Yeah, it's fine. You can talk to <laughs> it. You can talk. We are out of here. I'm dead. All right. We love you guys. Good night. Bye. It's <laughs> doing sign language. <laughs> I can't. I don't even know how to leave. I don't know how to leave. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Ciro. Bye, Randy. Bye, Amanda. Bye, Matt. Bye, Elena. I'm going to say bye to everyone. Bye, Gretchen. Okay, bye. No, but really, bye. I found the button. Bye.